Hi everybody, Bowling Cures here. I'm here practicing and uh, crossed my mind. Uh, I never really did uh, talk more about the Infinity. I talked a little bit on my Sunday brunch uh, when I was bored. But uh, let me give you a close up on that thing. The slide track, fe slide tracker feature. And uh, kind of tell you the story behind this gun. So, uh, as you imagine, I bought this uh, used. Uh, this is probably a five, six thousand dollar gun. Uh, might actually be more. I paid significantly less. I had, I got a hell of a deal. I can't really say how much because uh, my wife actually watches these videos, and everything I say can be used against me. So uh, anyway, I wind up getting this gun from a guy that you probably know. If you if you don't know him, go subscribe to his channel. He's way cooler than me, but he doesn't have the cool accent. His name's X Ring. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just discovered. He's a good friend with him, and when I mentioned I'm, I would like to get my hands on one of these, he mentioned the X-Ring has one for sale and sent me a few pictures. Within an hour, I was talking to X-Ring. Now, the full disclosure, this X-Ring got this used as well. He said he sent it back to Infinity for checkup, clean bill of health. He told me the whole story behind it, and uh, I pretty much made him an offer he couldn't refuse. And uh, this actually is a champion's gun. This gun belonged to Chris Teeley. I, I, I hope I, I didn't butcher his name. I'm gonna put all his info in the description. He's like a two-time IPAC champion, basically a big deal. And X-Wing told me that he had his gun on order, and in the meantime, he purchased this off uh, Chris, so he got something to shoot. And uh, now it came down to me. Uh, I mean. I can imagine this thing has a tens of thousands, of thousands of rounds through it, but you cannot tell. I mean, you cannot tell. I mean, when I got it, I, I was under the impression it was barely used. And and even after the few hundred rounds I put through it, I still, uh, there's like, there's no wear. This, this, this thing is awesome. Now, how awesome this thing is? You saw me shoot it with the different powder loads. And you know I'm a big grand power guy. And uh, I'm kind of ditching the grand powers for this. I'm, uh, I'm at a point that I'm trying to figure out how to make this IDPA legal for my uh, a handful of IDPA matches coming. And uh, with a 126 uh, uh, millimeter magazine, uh, this thing is exactly 43 ounces. So that should make it IDPA legal because the, uh, the cap is 43 ounces and uh, it fits the box, it makes the weight. So I really don't see a reason why this shouldn't be a... Uh, 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 IDP illegal in ESP division. <laughs> I mean, they might look at me weird shooting a freaking 40, but as I showed you, uh, with, a, with a four points of uh, tight group, this is a soft shooting gun, still well above 125 power factor. And you know what? I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm gonna shoot it. I should mention these magazines, these are 140 millimeter magazines, obviously butchered down to 10, 10 rounds. The followers on these are designed not to lock back. That's pretty much these guns are designed. The 126 round, 10 round magazines I got coming, they have a different follower, so the gun's gonna lock back, just like it, it locks sometimes with my, uh, with one of the STI Max, because it has a different follower. I actually got a new follower coming from Dawson for that. All right, so, uh, somebody mentioned that this might be an older model because of the, the, the serration. Well, that's actually something that Chris came up with, and, uh, so this is pretty much one of the kind gun. And when I say it's soft shooting, I'm not kidding. I mean, gun like this will make a marginal shooter a better, better shooter. It's just this thing. It's just ridiculous. Uh, one thing I do not like, and eh, not really I don't like it, but if you see my if you see my grip, okay, when I go and put my safety down and kind of used to shooting like this with a thumb over my safety, the the MB safety digs into my hand, so I might uh, I might just call Infinity and get me a, a just a single safety. I mean it's nice to have MB for the stages when you gotta go left-handed. Cause you got something to rest the thumb on and less of a chance of bumping it but uh i'm uh, i think i'm just gonna go with a single sided safety 
Uh, the sights on this thing, it's a fully adjustable sight. Vintage and elevation. It's got a fiber optic rear and front. I was never a big uh, fan, but for some reason on this gun it works. And you can tell that front sight doesn't move because of the big cutout on it. It just works like a charm. The, the gun also ha has a, what the hell is it called? A, a safety shield or something like that. So basically when you're over here, you're not riding the slide. And uh, really not a whole lot that <laughs> you need to do on this gun. The, the whole grip is like the sandpaper kind of thing. So it's really grippy. And as you saw in my, in my video, the thing is really accurate. And it's really, really fun to shoot. So, actually, thank you very much. And at the same time, curse you, because uh, now, now I want another one. <laughs> so, uh, story behind this is uh, I took my X5, my Q5, and uh, I even took uh, my Dan Weston Valkyrie, and I sold them. I mean, Dan Weston Valkyrie, I kind of missed that the most, because uh, I bought that gun for a really good deal, and it was a really good gun, but it was most of a safe queen and uh, the plastic uh, X5 and Q5, even though they were good guns, I couldn't get over the uh, trigger on the, on the X5 and the Q5 was just a tad, the grip was tad short for my hands. Uh, I wound up just selling them and uh, reinvesting money into, into this. So there you have it. As always, have fun. Keep shooting.